everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and I hope you're having a great day after International Women's Day. So today I really wanted to make this video because I have these three amazing sets in front of me that mean so much to me. These sets all feature amazing women and especially with International Women's Day being yesterday, I thought it was perfect timing to just kind of showcase these sets for you. Especially these sets here because they are retired but amazing. And then this one here, you probably know this set, right? The promo, Amelia Earhart, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so first let me talk about this set here. This is the Woman of Nat a set. This is set number 21312. This is the first Lego set I ever had, which is just crazy. I got it in 2018 and I was so happy. Like, I remember getting this set from Bricks and Minifigs and I was just ecstatic. Like, I didn't really know anything about building with Lego, so I actually dumped all the bags out on the table because I just didn't know and I totally stressed out my husband, but it was fine. But he actually bought me this set because, first of all, he wanted me to get into Lego, which, like, is fair and it, it worked, <laughs> but also because of Margaret Hamilton here. I love Margaret Hamilton. She is such a cool role model and I'm a computer programmer so having her as a minifigure right here is amazing. So what this is depicting here is Margaret Hamilton standing next to her code and back then when she was programming you actually printed out your code on pieces of paper and it would stack up and then you would feed it into a machine and that's the paper like her code there got us to the moon. That's crazy, like I cannot believe that and I would have these on my desk at work and I'm a programmer too and so I would be like, oh my gosh, why is my code so buggy today? Like nothing's working, super buggy, I could not figure out just basic tasks and I would look at my little Margaret Hamilton minifigure like, girl, you got us to the moon, how can I not do this simple task? It was just so motivational just having her there kind of like staring at me on my desk just like, Emily, you got this girl, you got this. I was like, yeah, I do. Awesome. Okay guys, so now let's move on over here to Mae Jemison and Sally Ride. So Mae was the first black woman in space. Super cool. And then Sally Ride over here is the first American woman in space. So yeah, they're both amazing, super inspirational. And plus this Lego set here, it honestly just makes for a really good display piece too. Like this is a really nice shuttle build. I know this is definitely like more about the women in these sets, but the shuttle build is really cool. I really like it. Okay, and then at the end over here, we have Nancy Roman. And she is so freaking cool, you guys. She's the founder of the US Civilian Space Program. And she's known as the mother of Hubble, which if you're not familiar with the Hubble telescope, that thing is insane. It's a really fancy telescope that lets you see into space, like very far into space, and you just see such amazing things. I'll put pictures up here because it's just so cool and my brain cannot comprehend how much is out there. Like it's really incredible. So yeah, all of these women here are absolutely fantastic. All right, so now let's move on to the center here to the Research Institute. This is set number 21110 and I just bought this a few days ago actually. I found it used at Bricks and Minifigs, so it only came with the instructions. There was no box, unfortunately. But in the instructions, this is really cool. So this is a Lego idea set as well as this one. I don't think I mentioned that yet. They're both Lego ideas sets, so that's awesome. But yeah, this was actually designed by a female geologist, which I studied geology in my undergrad, so that's just really cool. And now I'm more of a programmer, so I'm kind of like a blended interest between like Margaret Hamilton and the dinosaur girl over here. <laughs> but in the instructions here, this is really cool. It tells you a little bit about the designer, but also the professions that she initially intended for the women to have, like a falconer, a robotics engineer, engineer and a geologist. So, I mean, that's really cool. These are definitely different. We actually have a paleontologist, a chemist, and an astronomer. So, I mean, they definitely did capture a wide range of STEM professions. As for this actual dinosaur build itself, it's really cool. It's nice having more dinosaur fossils because honestly, they're really cool. Dinosaurs are awesome. I mean, Emmasaurus. Come on, I like dinosaurs. And it reminds me of like a mini version of the dinosaur fossil set that was also a Lego idea set. As for the chemist and astronomer, I'll be honest with you guys, I was never very good at chemistry in school. It's all good, it's all good. I found geology and programming, I'm happy there. Chemistry, not so much. But I do think that this backdrop is super cool for her. Like it's so fun. She has all the little chemistry flasks going on. We have a little microscope awesome. And then for the astronomer, we have a telescope and then a blackboard with some of the constellations on it. And I just, I just love it. And these figures themselves are just really cool. My favorite torso from all of these is probably the chemist because she's wearing like a white lab coat. But to be fair, I looked a lot like this during my undergrad. We actually had to do a lot of geology and outdoor rock stuff. So I looked like her most of the time. The khakis were definitely essential. Okay. And then finally, let's take a peek over at this set over here. You guys know the set, right? The Amelia Earhart promo. Super cool. I am so happy we were able to get this. We actually snagged two of these from the Lego store. We bought the Stranger Things set because I really wanted it, and so we were able to get a second one, but anyways. 
This is a really cool set. And I'm gonna talk more about the actual set itself here because there's a lot more to see. So this Amelia Earhart promo came out March 6, 2021, and you had to spend $100, I believe, to get it, but it is so worth it. It is a beautiful set. Plus having this Amelia Earhart minifigure is amazing. Like she is such a great role model and having her in Lego form is so cool. So when I saw the initial images of this set online, I was a little like, meh, you know, like the set itself looked cool, but it looked kind of like a toy plane, which I guess that's just the style of them and making them in Lego form, it literally is a toy plane. <laughs> but I mean, it does look, there we go. But it looks a lot better in person and it makes for a perfect display. So like as an adult woman, this is for sure going on my display shelf behind me. It just makes for a perfect display. Having the plane itself would be like, yeah, that's really cool. It's still a cool promo, but the fact that it is really displayable just takes it to that next level for me. And as you can see before, the plane does lift up and down. Um, if you lift it too much, it might come off. <laughs> so be wary of that. Without going into too much detail, something a little disappointing about this set is all the stickers. So like Amelia is holding this little map in her hand and it's a sticker piece, which is just like, what? Through time, if you make her hold it and then take it off, make her hold it again or whatever, like the sticker is gonna come off. So that's really disappointing, especially with these two by two tiles. Normally they're printed pieces. So that's just a huge disappointment for me. Plus on the wings, those are stickers as well, which makes a lot more sense, but still, I mean, I'm mostly just disappointed about that two by two tile. There should not be a sticker on that. And also in the front, there's a little plaque up there that says Amelia Earhart Aviation Pioneer. And that's also such a disappointment. It should not be a sticker. It should be a printed piece, but I mean, it is a promo. I literally got this for free, $100. I don't know. I had to spend $100 to get it, but I mean, it was like a free set. So, I mean, I can't complain too much, but I think I can complain a little bit about that two by two tile still. That's, that's upsetting. <laughs> Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching. I had never showcased these sets before, so I figured I would just kind of talk through them, and I hope you enjoyed learning more about the amazing women that LEGO has featured. I'm really hopeful that LEGO keeps making sets like this in the future, because I just think that's so cool, it's so important, plus it gets more women into LEGO, which is really important to me. And again, just so you guys know, these two sets are retired, but this one is not. This one just came out as a promo set for March, so go get it while you can, it is totally worth it. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.